Okay, so we have 3 fourths minus 1 16th. So maybe you have 3 fourths of an inch and you want to subtract 1 16th of an inch from that. The key thing we need to do here is we need to get these denominators to be the same. We have 4 and 16, but if they're the same, then dealing with the numerators, it's a lot easier. 4 times 4, that equals 16. That would give me 16 here and here. But I can't just multiply the denominator by 4. I do need to multiply that numerator by 4 as well. Because 4 over 4 is just 1. So 1 times 3 fourths, still 3 fourths. So we haven't changed the value. But now what we have is 4 times 3 is 12. And then 4 times 4 is 16. And 12 sixteenths, that's equivalent to 3 fourths. But we can subtract 1 sixteenth much easier. Because 12 minus 1 is 11. And we keep the 16 the same across. And 3 fourths minus 1 sixteenth, that equals 11 sixteenths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.